This patient will never know that his destiny lies in the expertise of a man 9,400 kilometers away. The 19-year-old took a bullet to the leg. He hasn't been able to walk uh, since. Neither the surgeon nor a visiting British doctor in Syria has expertise in peripheral nerve damage. So in the midst of war, they are consulting via Skype with Dr. Abdalmajid Katranji, a hand surgeon in Michigan. What type of uh, nerve graft are you using? Dr. Katranji volunteered at the same hospital during his visits to Syria. I've operated in a kitchen. Uh, I've operated in a warehouse, a granary, a uh, converted school. Sahina. The northern Syria hospital has been bombed three times, including this near hit, caught on tape. The doctors want a no-fly zone over all hospitals. They say the death of one doctor knocks out an entire health care system. Dr. Joe Ma is the director. His operating room works around the clock. Ten surgeries a day, many with assistance from overseas. Sometimes we get sophisticated cases, so we consult with doctors in the West. And soon we will have an intensive care unit and radiology. Petrangi and other U.S. doctors monitor as many as five surgeries a day in different field hospitals. Next, he consults on a baby with shrapnel wounds. Doctors find themselves playing God, deciding who should die and who should live, based solely on the lack of supplies. Katranji thinks people should see the Syrian conflict through a surgeon's eyes. As people hear all the, the political noise, they really have to eliminate it and start looking at the human equation. You know, what's the human equation here? You just heard a doctor who said he doesn't look at people's ID badges. He just needs to be able to deliver care and be, to be able to deliver care safely. And it, yeah, right there. In his office, Katranji runs a hectic hand practice, and he weaves in Syrian assistance when he can. This woman caught her finger in a chain. Is that painful? Just a little bit. Dr. Katranji has the staff tape the quick procedure, then they upload it to Syria. He says field doctors typically cut off fingertips to save time. He wants to show them they don't have to. The benefit of having all your fingers, even fingertips, is far exceeds the, uh, the, uh, the challenges with an amputation. In between patients, he joins a Syrian Facebook discussion. This is Turkey inside Syria, Jordan, uh, Lebanon. What are they telling you? They're discussing the chemical weapons. Then he joins a conference call to lobby U.S. Congressman Keith Ellison, urging him to vote for U.S. intervention. Abdul Majid, let me just say, man, that uh, you, know, you get on the front lines. You're my idea of a credible witness. His practice is running late. Okay, so it was stiff most of the day, but it's, you know, again, it's feeling much better right awesome. now. <sighs> Another check of his iPhone. His medical assistance is needed again. Syria is calling. In East Lansing, Michigan, Carolyn Prasuti, VOA News.